when we discuss video from the Olympics, it has to do with a controversial play or a moment of athletic glory. But tonight, the video everybody is watching is from a gas station in Rio. It shows portions of the alleged robbery of U.S. Olympic gold medalist Ryan Lochte and some of his teammates. But does this video contradict their stories? Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. It's the robbery that police say never took place, and it's now at the heart of what is becoming an international incident. This video obtained by ABC News shows Ryan Lochte, one of the winningest Olympians in history, and three other swimmers going into this gas station bathroom in the early hours of Sunday morning. Lochte had been partying with friends, Snapchatting this video of himself at this club, packed with 2,500 people. Lochte and his younger teammates, Gunnar Bentz, Jack Conger, and James Fegan, say that they got into a taxi then to go home to the Olympic Village. That's when the story gets fuzzy. Lochte initially told NBC that armed men had pulled them over. The guy pulled out his gun, he cocked it, put it to my forehead, he said, get down, and I was like, I put my hands up, I was like, whatever. His account was seen as a vicious black eye to the host city that had already been plagued with other negative stories. There are big concerns now about safety. We turned to Rio tonight and the major health concern there on the eve of the Summer Olympics. Concerns grow over the water quality there and whether it could put athletes health at risk. To have one of the Olympics greatest swimmers of all time claim to have been held up at gunpoint with crushes of the spirit and hopes that Rio would come out of it a better light. But then, as Brazilian police began to investigate, Lochte appeared to change his story, telling NBC in another interview that the taxi had not been pulled over, but rather they'd gone to the gas station to use the bathroom. One thing he did not say this time, he didn't say he was pulled over by these people pretending to be police. Almost immediately, some questioned the story. What up, what up? Lochte has a reputation as a playboy. I like to have fun. Ladies. I mean, I'm not married to anyone. I'm not dating anyone. One who dates a playmate. Let's turn it up! And has often been seen partying on his e-reality show. <laughs> and now Brazilian police are recommending that he and James Fegan be indicted for providing false testimony to police, insisting Lochte and the others were never victims of an armed robbery. Da forma relatada pelos atletas. At this exact moment, what the police can confirm is that there was no robbery in the way that it was reported by the athletes. Claiming that the now international flap was kicked off when some of the men kicked in the door of the gas station bathroom. But ironically, both sides claim the security video supports their very contradictory claims. It's 6.08 a.m. Here's Lochte and his group exiting the gas station, heading towards the cab. And then someone comes up to the driver's seat window. Is that a gun in his hand? Then the video skips ahead three minutes. And the swimmers get out of the car. You can see one of the athletes taking what seems to be his wallet out and offering money. Then in this angle, we see three of the athletes getting down on the ground, putting their hands in the air. Now we learn that at least significant portions of what Lochte said was true. And seeing that on the video, is very helpful in corroborating some of the basics of Lochte's account. But as they say, there are two sides to every story. Watch the video again. Police say that when Lochte and his friends were coming out of the bathroom here, they had just vandalized it. Police say the swimmers kicked down the door, then vandalized the bathroom inside. Then those four swimmers continued down here back towards their taxi, and at this point, they allegedly ripped a poster off the wall before being confronted by those security guards. These images seem to show the gas station employees picking up broken items. And as they get in the cab, the men identified as security guards are converging. And then this guy entering the frame from the right. Police say the man is actually another armed security officer intent, they say, not on robbing them, but on trying to subdue them. So the question of whether a gun was pointed at them? Yes, the answer is yes. And here, when one of the athletes takes out his wallet, police say he was actually trying to give them money to pay for the damages. They paid around 100 reais and a $20 bill to pay for the damages they caused. 
Later, this video shows the athletes returning to the Olympic Village seemingly unfazed. But sources who spoke to all four swimmers today telling ABC News, Lochte and the other swimmers were in fact held up by the men they thought were gunmen. The source is saying the men only released them once the Americans had coughed up about 400 bucks. They accused the Brazilian government of blowing this out of proportion in an attempt to protect their nation's now sullied reputation. But regardless of what you think you may see in this video, events were already unfolding before its release. On Monday, after making a statement to police, Lochte returned to the U.S. Were you guys robbed? But last night, his teammates Jack Conger and Gunnar Bentz hauled off a flight just as it was about to take off for the U.S. They were asked to disembark by the judge and they're being interviewed right now. And brought for another round of questioning at this police station. Tonight, they're headed back to the U.S., but police still have their sights on Lochte and Fagan. The police are claiming that the statement that Lochte and Fagan made to them was false. And that's a crime under Brazilian law. Even the Brazilian police agree it's unlikely that Lochte or any of the other swimmers will face jail time. But regardless, Lochte's attorney is fighting back, saying that the Rio police have, quote, failed to acknowledge that the robbery actually took place. No matter what happened at that gas station, the swimmers were robbed by people with a gun appearing to be law enforcement. No matter what country you're in, that is robbery, and robbery is a serious crime. Public opinion now divided about the swimmers. But it's important to remember that Ryan Lochte is the probably the greatest U.S. swimmer, uh, male swimmer, not named Michael Phelps in history. A tremendously successful athlete who, for whatever reasons, continues to find himself on the opposite end or the wrong end of what should be a good narrative. Well, they are magnificent athletes. Lachi is one of the best swimmers of all times. They had fun. They made a mistake. It's part of life. Life goes on. The United States Olympic Committee releasing a statement tonight saying that while it has provided support to the athletes, it does not support what they did. The behavior of these athletes is not acceptable, nor does it represent the values of Team USA or the conduct of the vast majority of its members. We will further review the matter and any potential consequences for the athletes when we return to the U.S. He may be a great athlete, say police, but to prove he's a decent person, they say he'd better apologize. And we know what happened, so I think it would be noble of them to apologize to the citizens of Rio. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Rio.